Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my thoughts on the Chanel Vita Lumi Aqua Foundation. Vita Lumi Aqua Foundation. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. And I actually did just grab it quite recently because I really was curious at this point um, what the hype was all about and it seemed like it was consistent and it was something that people were constantly reaching out for in their videos and their favorites till I really had to come back to the counter and retry it for myself. So to make the long story short, I think my initial my initial experiences with this foundation, with the swatching and samples I was given, was not really ideal in terms of being matched properly, in terms of probably the condition that my skin was in or probably layering it over top other products that didn't work well with it. Color matching for the Vita Lumi Aqua is quite tricky because they do have two different undertones for every shade and it starts from B20 to B40. So it's also there isn't also quite such a big range there in terms of shades but so that's basically my experience. Now let me begin and get to the product. So it's called the Ultra Light Skin Perfecting Makeup. This retails for 48 Canadian. I think in the States it's about 44 or 45. Now this product as you already know is water based. You get one fluid ounce. It's in a plastic container and it's the first time Chanel has actually come out with a packaging that's very travel friendly and convenient. But the thing about this is when you apply it you actually really have to give it a good shake a couple of times and there is a stopper there but I think um, mine being so new you can't really hear it because it's still full of product but you do have to give it a very good shake every time you dispense product from it and that's the one essential thing that all the essays will tell you because the formulation just really needs that to be able to work well the way that i like or that i find very great in applying this is actually fingers this is the, actually the first foundation that i think really really lends itself well to finger application which I never really liked and it's been suggested a couple of times with this foundation and I actually it is the first time that I actually did like applying a foundation with my fingers the consistency is not thick it's not too thin it's not as thin as the MAC face and body as well but it's not as mm, it's the dry skin nude is not really thick, but it doesn't lend, it's, lend itself well to blending with the fingers. This one is a bit more lotion-like than the dry skin nude, so it actually is very nice to just blend and massage, pat in your skin, and then just actually just patting it, not really rubbing, just dotting it, and then just patting it with your fingers and doing small strokes of just you know blending it in your skin and what I like doing after that is getting my Sigma F80 brush and actually just pressing on my skin to just make sure it sinks in and then buffing it a bit but more of really a padding motion the finish is a very very natural although I do like applying it over top the base Lumi or the illuminating makeup base from Chanel which also comes in this packaging and I think it's absolutely amazing on its own I've tried the Vita Lumi Aqua on its own and it's it's really great I mean it didn't slide or slip off my face I even took a run and it stayed it wasn't melting off my skin but with this base it's absolutely tremendously amazing I don't even need to powder and the lasting power is amazing I um, without powdering it didn't oxidize or change in any way the way it looked on my skin for about two or three hours so really amazing product and I'll probably do another review on that but back to the Vita Lumi Aqua so it is water based and I do like applying it with my fingers and buffing it in with F80 now what I like about the product is that it really gives you at least with all my experiences with foundations it has 
the most flattering natural finish you can have. A lot of other foundations lend themselves well to natural finishes, but after 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, the wear of it is just really not as good as something that has more coverage. Well, the Vitalume Aqua is something that is really a cut above all the rest because even with my Dior Skin Nude, I do oxidize. If I don't powder or I don't layer it with something else, it will oxidize on my skin. With a Vita Lumia Aqua, this is not the case. It really stays that way for the duration that you have it on your skin. It also has the most natural setting feel to it. Even with the fingers, you don't feel anything. It's It almost really just melts into your skin. The Dior Skin Nude is also really good at that, but for some reason, the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua just does... Uh, a, not really a better job but seems to just melt on your skin almost instantly where there's no downtime where you actually feel a layer of anything also it's the first foundation that I don't see any marks or demarcations even if I stop blending in a certain area with other foundations you usually do see some you know a certain foundation line and I haven't really pulled the product down but you don't see anything and I haven't bronzed today either usually when I get foundation lines what I would do is I'd get a big fluffy brush and I'll pull my bronzer down and that also pulls the product of the foundation down but anyway with a Vitalume Aqua no visible foundation lines as well so really really a testament to how natural the finish is so I guess those are my initial impressions with the Vitalume Aqua. It has, it is buildable, which is something that's quite amazing as well, given its consistency. And it actually has a bit more coverage than typical water-based foundations I find. And because it's buildable, it almost really achieves a semi-medium coverage to it, which is very impressive, especially because the consistency is um, feels very lightweight so those two never really go together but the consistency is lightweight it is water-based it feels um, I mean it doesn't feel like it there is gonna be that much coverage but there actually is and I actually do have blemishes right now my skin is going through this I don't know I have these blemishes but the Vitalume Aqua actually required not as much coverage or full cover concealers as I thought it would. So I'm so glad I finally, finally have experienced for myself the tremendous um, holy grail performance status of this foundation, if that even makes sense. I'm an NC30 in MAC and if it's any help to any one of you guys, the shade that I'm at is at B40 Beige Desert. And I guess I'll leave it for at that for now. There's still quite a bit that I want to share with you guys, especially in comparison to a lot of the other water-based foundations that I have used and I do still use, such as the Dior Skin Nude and the MAC Face and Body, and I think it'll give you guys a much better perspective on the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. So I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I'll probably do a review on the base illuminating, the illuminating makeup base as well. And I think this too, is completely a match made in heaven for complexion purposes and this is definitely in my books holy grail for being the most the true throw in your bag you can go to the beach foundation and the most travel friendly you don't really need to think about it foundation so I think Chanel does it again and really providing us or giving the market a product that really just stands out from everybody else. The Pro Lumiere is a testament to that as well. Nothing beats that in terms of photographing and coverage and just the look it gives you. So that's my share for this for this video. So I'll be doing a follow-up with a comparative reviews and with the base illuminating makeup and a few other current products that I really want to share with you guys. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.